Hi guys, I'm Nate Coomer, physical therapist with the Parkinson's Fitness Project. I'm so excited to be working again with the Brian Grant Foundation to bring you another move of the month. If you want more information on what they're doing, go ahead and check out their website at www.briangrant.org. Okay, today we're going to be talking about flexibility. Stiffness, tightness is something that a lot of people deal with when it comes to Parkinson's disease. And one specific area, is the area that most people deal with is the hip flexors. Okay, so the muscles that come right over top of our hips and tend to contribute to a more stooped posture when we're standing is something that a lot of people complain of when it comes to Parkinson's disease. And we're going to show you a very simple stretch that anybody can do at home with some very general equipment like a chair and a pillow. If you have one, make sure it's sturdy. Go ahead and grab that chair now and maybe a pillow for your knees. We're going to go ahead and pull that chair forward. And I'm going to have you place the pillow right in front of the chair. If you're comfortable doing this, I want you to put your hands down to the chair and go ahead and bring your knees down to the pillow. Okay? So we're in kind of a kneeling position right in front of the chair. At this time, you might scoot the chair out just a little bit to give you some room to stretch. And we're going to take one knee, keep it down on the pillow, the other knee or the other foot is going to step up to the side of the chair. Okay, I'm stepping my outside foot up so you can see what my hip flexor is doing. You could do either side. We want to do both. So um, go ahead and step one foot up. You're going to scoot the chair out. You're going to keep your hands on it. Keep your chest tall throughout this entire stretch. And we want our foot kind of right alongside of the chair in the middle of the chair. And we're going to lean forward towards that forward foot keeping our knee planted on the pillow. So as we lean forward and keep our chest tall, you should start to feel a nice stretch through the front of the hip flexor. If you do, you don't want to go any farther. Just hold it there. A stretch does not have to be painful. It should just feel like light pulling in that front of the hip area. I always try to teach people that you want to hold this stretch for a little longer than you think is necessary. So a lot of people want to rock in and out of a stretch, but we try to educate you to hold it for a good 30 to even 45 seconds, okay? A prolonged hold makes a bigger difference when it comes to changing muscle tissue. So we try to prolong that hold here, keeping our weight over our hands, keep that weight forward over the front foot for 30 to 45 seconds. And you can repeat that two to three times on each leg as you do this stretch at home. Okay, so you can go from side to side. Okay, I hope you like what you've seen in here today. I hope you can implement it at home in your home program. And I'm really happy to give you one more move of the month that focuses on flexibility for the hip flexors. If you want more information on what Brian Grant is doing, go ahead and go to www.briangrant.org and you can sign up for their email newsletters so that you can stay on top of everything that they have going on. All right. Thank you guys so much and we'll see you next time for another move of the month.